salt water the entire sea is filled with salt water if we have to obtain salt from this mixture we just have to evaporate water and then we obtain salt but in this process a lot of water is lost but in countries where there is lack of water this process of evaporation cannot be used so how do we separate salt and water and obtain both of them that is through a process of distillation in this process we will obtain salt as well as the water for that we have a distillation flask in this flask we take the mixture of salt and water through this flask we have a condenser going this condenser has two tubes the inner tube and the outer tube the outer tube has ice cold water in it so it acts like a water jacket to the inner tube due to ice cold water in the outer tube the inner tube becomes extremely cold because it is surrounded by the cold outer tube now this entire setup is called the condenser now let us heat the mixture of salt and water which we have taken in the distillation flask once the temperature rises and reaches to 100 degrees celsius the evaporation of water starts the water gets evaporated and moves to the condenser tube here the temperature is extremely low the inner tube of the condenser is extremely cold when the water vapors move through this inner tube they start condensing that means they come back to the liquid state so they form water droplets all these water droplets are collected in a appropriate vessel and the salt is left behind in the distillation flask so this is how we can separate the mixture of salt and water and obtain both salt as well as water this water that is obtained is called distilled water now suppose if we have a mixture of acetone and water both are liquids we take the mixture in the distillation flask acetone evaporates at about 56 degrees celsius and water evaporates at 100 degrees celsius so when we heat the mixture at 56 degrees celsius acetone starts evaporating these acetone vapors are collected in the condenser they cool down and come back to the liquid state so all the acetone is collected in an appropriate vessel what is left behind in the flask is water at 100 degrees celsius then water starts evaporating and it is collected in another vessel so this is how we can separate two miscible liquids from each other now there has to be a thermometer kept in this case so that we know the difference in the temperature so that we maintain the temperature at 56 as well as at 100 degrees celsius now here easily we could separate two liquids because there was a huge difference in their boiling points thus distillation is the process for separation of components of a mixture of two miscible liquids having sufficient difference in their boiling points without decomposition of the liquids that means the liquids should boil and change into vapors instead of decomposing or splitting into some other substances what about mixtures of immiscible liquids like oil and water immiscible liquids means liquids that do not dissolve into each other such mixtures can be separated using a separating funnel this apparatus runs on the principle of having two immiscible liquids separating out according to their densities now if we have oil and water we put this oil and water mixture in the separating funnel we leave this mixture undisturbed for some time we will see that the oil starts floating on the top because the density of oil is less than water now we open the knob of the separating funnel now due to which the water starts getting collected from the bottom and then we close the knob as soon as the water is collected and the oil is left behind in the separating funnel so this is how we can separate liquids which are immiscible having different densities using the separating funnel so separating funnel can be used to separate the mixture of oil and water it is also used in the extraction of iron when the iron is extracted from its ore it is in the molten form 
and it has a lot of impurities called slag. When the molten iron is put inside the separating funnel and it is left undisturbed, the slag which is lighter forms a layer on the top of the molten iron and the molten iron is then collected from the bottom. Now if we have a mixture of salt and ammonium chloride, ammonium chloride as we know is a sublimable substance. So if we heat ammonium chloride, it will go to the gaseous state, thus it will separate out from the salt. But by hand picking, it is very difficult to separate ammonium chloride from our common salt because they look very much alike. So we take a mixture of ammonium chloride and salt in a china dish. We put a funnel inverted on this mixture. We heat the mixture. Ammonium chloride starts sublimating. It starts forming vapors and moves at the top. It comes in contact with the cold surface of the flask and gets cooled down and becomes ammonium chloride solid again. So it gets deposited on the flask. So in this way we can separate any sublimable substance from other impurities. So the physical processes that we have learnt in this lesson to separate a mixture are magnet, filtration, evaporation, crystallization, separating funnel and sublimation.